Hi everybody, welcome to my first ever tutorial and now let's get started. Today we learn to make this. You must be thinking what is this? Like it is a video or it is a photo. Uh, it is actually called a plotograph um, and now I'll show you how to make a plotograph for this you need two softwares Photoshop and Premiere Pro you can also do it only in Photoshop but I prefer to use Premiere Pro for you'll understand let's get started with the tutorial so let's open Photoshop you can have any version of it after CS6 probably now let's create new wait uh, we'll just open the photo that we want to edit and drag it on to Photoshop this is the timeline window we'll use it later so I'll just close it uh, now go to this magnifying option and just uh, click fit screen now remove the lock button from the background in the layers or layers panel just drag it on to the new layer option this is the new layer option and uh, rename every both the layers to bg that is background and front okay now let's go to the quick select a tool and, uh, and just drag it on to the uh, area you want to move like in this case the water and don't worry if you by mistake uh, click on any other thing that you don't want to mask or you don't want to select just go to the uh, negative sign negative press over there that means subtract or uh, remove and you can remove it like this and don't forget about these small small dots these are also part of the mask now let's go to select and mask uh, this is the opacity of the overlay this is the overlay this red red portion uh, you can view the mask in any options like this is onion skin this is on black on white on black and white many other things I'll just use it for overlay for this tutorial um, and use the refine brush for just smoothening out the edges I think it is done now I'll just uh, increase the smooth of the refinements and click OK. Go to Edit and Cut, and you will see a transparent background beneath it. Now place this mask at the position it was. It is supposed to be in the original picture. Now I'll rename it to Upper Water And now I'll do the same thing for this middle portion of water I'll just click I'll just click on the mask Just, just don't forget to press the front layer for this for selecting the mask uh, now I'll just mask it out select whatever I want I'll just use a small portion of it go to select a mask 
refine the edges this looks okay I think uh, this refine tool the define brush tool can also be used when you are using when you are making when you want to cut out um, when you cut out an image that has hair in it that is probably the best way to use the refine brush tool now I think we are done okay let's go to edit cut and then create a new layer rename it to middle water and uh, just paste it move it to the original position yeah I think we are done for this now let's select front and mask out this third layer I'll just fast forward this as it is the same technique to do this renamed it lower water and I'll just place it to the original position uh, I think we're done yeah now we'll go to the vendor and select timeline I think we'll add a solid color of the color of the rocks beneath the front layer. Uh, you'll know it because when we remove the BG, you can see that uh, you can see the transparent portion between uh, beneath it. So for removing it, we'll just add a solid color between front and BG. You can change the op opacity of uh, the color fill of the solid color like this and now just convert all the layers all the water layers into smart object I will create video timeline okay I'll just undo the last part and show you what is smart object and how it is important to us. The upper water is not a smart object and the middle water and lower water are. Uh, when 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 a layer is a smart object, you will see the transform option beneath it in the timeline. And when it is not, you can see only the position of Asti and the style. That is different. For this video, we need transform option because transform option allows us to move allows us to position allows us everything to do now i'll just convert that into the smart object i'll just click this little clock beside transform and keyframe it at three second and at one one second i'll just resize the layer to an to a different size Okay, you can see the difference at zero, zero it is smaller and at one second it is larger I'll just cut it out and go to the middle water do the same keyframe it and at one second I'll just increase the size of it 
is to increase the size uh, of the layer um, so that it looks natural don't overuse it it's a subtle way I know it is not looking subtle right now but in the end of the tutorial you will see how I made it look good now I'll do the same for the lower water reframe it and uh, one second just increase a little just increase a little yeah okay uh, yes this looks fine yeah we done I'll just drag the layer water to the lower water copy and make a copy and middle water copy and drag it down to the same video group and it will create a video group in the same line will now create three video groups each containing two layers two, one layer and one a copy of it um, and in it now I add the transition between it I'll add a crossfade and just drag it down to between the layers and you can see the difference between the crossfade and the fade the fade starts uh, in the fade the first layer the first layer starts uh, from 100 opacity to 0 and then uh, the second layer starts from 0 to 100 in crossfade it is like overlapping the frames are overlapping and thus timeline of the uh, video group is decreased delete the fade and apply cross fade it to it and let's go to video group 1 and drag it down to the new layer option and it will contain two layers like uh, video group 1 now I'll just start the cross fade and uh, select both layers and holding shift and add it to video group 1 then we'll add the crossfade again between the layers and delete video group 1 copy we'll do the same for video group 2 now the same for video group 3 fast forward this part and I will make it a 4 second water wrap now the important part to make it look subtle um, just select all the groups all the video groups 1, 2 and 3 and uh, just drag it down beneath front and the plotograph is subtle again it is looking real it is looking like real water is flowing through it um, I just rendered the video here let's meet you I just rendered the video here It can take some time and you can choose a name for it, select the folder, uh, select the format, reset anything, size and click render. Okay, it will take some time and take your time then we we'll go to Premiere Pro. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed the tutorial and learned something. Uh, this was a basic Photoshop tutorial. Uh, in the next episode of this, I'll add a basic Premiere Pro um, tutorial 
in which I'll show you how to add music and uh, clouds in this photograph. Don't delete your files and be back here next week. Just like, comment and share if you really like the video. Thank you.